Welcome to Watch Mojo Wrestling Review. <laughs> okay, enough jokes. But seriously, uh, today, a bit of a different video. I'm going to be basically doing a top 10 list of my very favorite uh, Mattel wrestling figures that came out this year. Now, before we get stuck into the list, this is just my own personal choice. This is what I think were the best of the best. So, without further ado, let's get it started. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go. Starting things off with a little honorable mention here. This is a figure that didn't quite crack the top 10, but nonetheless, it's something I have to talk about. It is Elite 70, Mr. McMahon. This is such a cool figure. It's a young looking version of Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. He's rocking a blue sport coat, comes with a microphone, interchangeable hands of course, and a blue interview stage. I've seen a lot of Instagram figure photographers utilizing this blue stage. And overall, I just think it's really cool that we finally get a Vince McMahon figure in the main elite line because prior to this, he was actually hard to capture in figure form. But now, here we have him at Elite 70. Anyway, starting this list off at number 10, it is Elite 68 King Mabel. Once again, another cool figure, a completely unique body mold, unlike anything we've ever seen before. You know that Mattel have just taken their sweet time with this and it's definitely paid off. This is the regular figure here. Uh, you're about to see the chase variant right there. They're not too different, in fact they're very similar, so I feel like if there's a figure on this list that has a chase variant, I'm going to include that with it. I know it's a bit of a two for one special going on there, uh, but anyway, nonetheless, King Mabel, the accessories you get with it, it's just a crown, it's some interchangeable hands, but just take a look at the detail on this attire. I'm really excited with Mattel moving forward because uh, they did mention that there's going to be a possible Big Daddy V and Viscera figure on the way and I can't wait for those. And This is the first time in the line figure and they've hit it right out the park. Love it. Anyway, on to number 9, it is Elite 67 Jeff Hardy. Once again, gotta put him with the chase variant. This figure, whenever I saw it on store shelves, I just snatched it up because I just believe it's so cool. It's it's just great that ever since Jeff Hardy's come back since WrestleMania 31, we've been getting so many Jeff Hardy figures. I really thank Mattel for pumping out as many Jeff Hardy figures as they have because you know what? No one, two figures are the exact same. They're all unique and colorful, just must haves. Uh, the figure comes with the United States Championship belt, interchangeable hands, kind of has like that Team Extreme uh, finger pose. Um, and then with the Chase variant, you've got the red, white, and blue face paint, blue sleeves. Both these figures are just absolutely amazing. So I'm throwing them together at number nine. Just really cool. If I ever see them again on store shelves, once again, I'm gonna be getting them because they're just really nice figures. Anyway, moving on to number eight. Number eight, it's probably something you wouldn't expect from me, but I gotta give props where it's due. You see it right in front of you here. Elite 70 EC3. This figure is absolutely nuts. Once again, it's a first time in the line figure. I know it doesn't say it on the box art here, but it is, trust me. Um, you see it comes with the NXT microphone. He has a shirt which has logos on the front and back. The detail on the attire is simply amazing. Interchangeable hands. Like I said, when it comes to first time in the line figures, Mattel are just amazing. Like just the stuff that they put out. If you're getting a first time in the line figure, just know you're getting greatness. It's not an okay figure. It's not a good figure. This is a great figure as most all first time in the line figures usually are. Um, Ethan Carter III, he cracks number eight on top 10 2019 Mattel WWE figures. Now we gotta move on to number seven. I've reviewed both of these guys recently. Here you see them together. It's Elite 68, Pat Patterson, Elite 70, Gerald Briscoe, both collector's edition figures, both incredibly hard to find, but I gotta put them together because you know, they're basically a tag team. They come with similar accessories. You gotta put them together. So if you wanna hear more of my thoughts in detail, obviously go watch that review that I put up not too long ago about these guys because I'll, I'll get really in depth there. But 
for what I've got to say here is just once again I think it's really cool that you get them with full cloth attires you know you got the shirt you got the pants on both you remove those then you've got them in their wrestling attire and then as a bonus you've got that little riot helmet interchangeable hands of course they're just really cool figures I don't think we're ever gonna see them ever again and you know what guess what they are first time in the line figures so you know they're great right anyway now it's time to move on to number six what could it be how about elite 64 Jimmy and Jay Uso, the Usos. Once again, this is another figure that I've reviewed, or a batch of figures that I've reviewed on the channel, and, um, and I rated them quite highly, and rightfully so. You see them here. Um, even though these guys are identical twins, they do have two vastly different face scans that are absolutely amazing, eye-catching on display. You see that you've got the cloth hoodie zip up there, um, on one of them and then you've got like the vest you've got the bandana kendo stick handcuffs I mean it's just accessories galore these figures are really cool in detail definitely worth the asking price I rated them highly in my review so there was no doubt about it in my mind when I was making up this top 10 list that these were some of the first figures I thought of and of course being a tag team I've thrown them together uh, as the rule kind of goes here. Anyway, moving on with number five. It is Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. Now, when they announced this Ultimate Edition line, how can you not put the Ultimate Warrior in the first wave of figures to come out in this line? I mean, this figure is just so incredibly cool. The packaging just looks amazingly premium. Um, it, you know, I definitely feel like Mattel have, have, have worked really hard on this and you know the creativity that was put out in the final product is just amazing. The cloth coat, you know, um, not to mention the detail in the attire. You know, Ultimate Warrior, he's very similar like Jeff Hardy. Whenever you get an Ultimate Warrior figure, it's always colorful. It's never gonna look anything identical to what we've previously seen. And um, you know, here you see him here with like the battle damage face with the face paint wearing off. You know, you got the interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, cool cloth coat, need I say more? Anyway, moving on to number four. It is Jeff Hardy once again, this time from Elite 71. Talking about interchangeable heads, with this figure, you get three. That's right, not one, not two, three interchangeable heads. Absolutely amazing, and they're all different. Uh, of course, you've got the interchangeable hands as well. You've also got the towel that hangs out the back. You know, I said it before, I'll say it again. Jeff Hardy figures, they're crazy cool, nice and colorful. Can't wait to get more. Mattel, please keep putting out Jeff Hardy figures because you know your boy is going to keep on buying them. Just absolutely love this figure. Take a look at this close-up shot right here. How amazing is this? Jeff Hardy, absolutely undeniable at the number four spot. But you know what? We gotta move forward. We gotta get in to the top three. I bet a lot of people are wondering what what could possibly better than be better than what we've seen so far. Well, number three, Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Kane as or Undertaker as Kane. It's a it's a two-in-one figure, as they've stated. You know, you get so much with it. There's the Undertaker head. There's the Kane mask that goes over the Undertaker head. There's the actual Kane head. So you could have, you know, the Undertaker dressed as Kane and then obviously just Kane himself. Full sleeves, the original, like, debut Kane attire. He comes with a belt. The belt has, like, a matte finish. It doesn't have that kind of, like, shiny gold look to it. So in a way, I think... That's pretty unique because if you want a belt that's different and unlike anything other than the rest, this is the only way to get it. The figure is just amazing. Mine's currently on the way uh, in the mail from Ringside Collectibles and I'm so hyped to get that. I can't wait to take a more in-depth look of it. It, it just It's a great figure. Here we go, number two. We're almost at the end here. It's Elite 69 Bobby Lashley. Once again, look at that bottom left corner there. First time in the line. 
it is a great figure, of course, rightfully so, but uh, as well as being a first time in the line figure, you can tell Mattel have gone all out on this because look at all the accessories you get with it. Look at them. Count them. How many is there? You got the sledgehammer, one. You got the tire, two. You got the headband, three. You got the hat, four. You got the vest, five. Interchangeable hands, six, seven. It's just absolutely amazing. It's so good that we finally got a Bobby Lashley figure. And like I said, that first time in the line, you just, you know you're getting such a great figure when it's a first time in the line figure. Do I really need to stress that anymore? I mean, just look at this thing right here. Absolutely beautiful, just like the man himself. Uh, it's time to move on to number one, folks. What could it be? Hmm. Come on now. Don't act like you didn't see this coming. Don't act like you didn't know this was going to be number one. This might be the greatest WWE figure of all time. Yeah, I said it. It's San Diego Comic-Con Slim Jim Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, if you're a follower on the channel, you know my struggles to try and get this figure, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about how great this thing is. The collaboration with Slim Jim, Macho Man, of course, you can't make a bad Macho Man figure. I know it's a bit biased because, um, you know, I'm a huge Macho Man Randy Savage fan, but this is just such a cool figure. He comes with the two meat stick packets, hat, glasses, but really where it all counts is that amazing jacket. Anyway, that's been the top 10 list of the top 10 WWE figures from Mattel in 2019. I thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.